Hey everybody, welcome to Beauty Broadcast Express. Today I'm going to be reviewing a couple of eyeshadow quads from Hard Candy. They are the baked quads called Mod Quads, and these are um, a fairly recent launch. I noticed them in my Walmart store a couple of weeks ago, and I have them in a couple of colors. Brownie Points is this neutral quad, and Pink Interlude is the kind of rosy colored quad. And as you can see, the packaging's pretty cute. They've actually got kind of a plush sort of python print there, and and then the compact opens up and you've got a couple of uh, sponge tip applicators in there as well. So I've talked about these briefly on my blog in a little um, hard candy haul, but I wanted to make sure I came back and followed up on this. Um, these are shadows that you can wear wet or dry. That tends to be the thing with baked shadows. Um, sometimes worn dry, they're not maybe as intense, but when you add just a little bit of water, I like to just spritz a little on my hand, get my applicator or my brush damp, just a little damp, and then go into the product and then when you apply it you notice um, even more intensity usually um, shimmery shades seem even more metallic and that's definitely what I noticed with these. Now, Hard Candy has some really great baked duos that I love and these I mean I think they're fabulous just worn dry I don't think they necessarily even need the help of water to make them look vibrant on the lids. This one that I'm holding up is in high maintenance they've got several others I'll link to more information below where I've talked about these but I just find these to be really, really high quality eyeshadows. And so I was hoping that these quads would be that very same formula, you know, but I feel like they are more dry, a little more flaky. And not that they can't look good when used on top of an eye primer, but they definitely benefit from the help of that or being used wet. Of these two, the brownie points one seems to go on a little bit better, you know, just when used dry. I think it seems to have a little more pigment. The shadows seem a bit smoother for the most part. Um, this one, though the pink interlude these shades are really really um soft and kind of sheer and they totally seem to need the help of you know a dampened applicator to make these colors pop and make them look like you know what you're seeing here in the packaging when you do do that the shades are quite pretty so I guess I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and let you know that I don't feel like these are quite the same smooth creamy formula that the hard candy duos that have been around for a while have if you choose to use them dry you'll definitely want to put them on top of a primer just to keep the flakiness at bay a little bit and then if you want to bring out even more color intensity, use them wet. As far as the color, like configurations and groupings, I think there was a smoky kit, a green kit, and also a purple kit, along with the one that I have here that's kind of pinky maroon and this one that's neutral. So I do like the configurations of the colors. If you insist upon having matte shadows in your trios and quads, I'm sorry, but you're out of luck here. These are all shimmery. That's kind of a drawback. You may want to pull in, you know, an extra matte shadow if you're trying to create a total look with these and you want a lot of contrast going on there. All in all, not a bad product, but a little more average compared to these duos. And you do just need to do a little extra work to get the most out of these shadows. So thank you so much for watching this review. I hope it was helpful for you and I'll see you again next time. Bye.